Hello, friends. We are back to doing some Shirley English. We are in chapter seven now. We skipped chapter six because it is a writing chapter and we want to stick with our parts of speech and labeling sentences. And so you should have listened to the conjunction sound off jingle. And you know now that a conjunction is a word that joins words or groups of words together. So conjunctions are kind of like the glue that puts two things together, like night and day, bold or timid. So the most common conjunctions are and, or, and but. Those are the three we typically see. Con conjunctions should be memorized and recognized on site. We label conjunctions with a capital C, okay? So C is for conjunction. Conjunction. We are going to start seeing these in our practice sentences. And this is now another part of speech that we know. So coordinate conjunctions join ideas that have the same level of importance. So this means that coordinate conjunctions join to subjects, to verbs, to adverbs, or to sentences. So again, these are and, or, and but, okay? So each is used as a different way. So and connects words. It, like in the sentence, I like pizza and pasta. I'm connecting them. I like them both. Or gives a choice. Will you arrive today or tomorrow? You have to choose one or the other. And then the word but shows a contrast between words, some differences. Like her report was long, but interesting. So they're kind of unrelated. It, if it's long, it might be boring, but it was interesting, not boring. And so these are called compound parts, the two words that are being connected. And so like I said, we can have compound subjects, compound verbs, compound adjectives or adverbs. So we are going to use the letter C, but also the regular label too, okay? So let's look at a practice sentence and then we're gonna do some together. Okay, so I'm going to write the sentence, my mom and I cook and clean daily. Okay, so the first thing we're looking for are any prepositions, and we don't have any in this sentence. So I'm going to ask myself, who cooks and cleans daily? Well, the response is mom and I. So mom is a subject noun. I is a subject pronoun, but they're joined by a conjunction. So we have a compound subject, compound subject. So we put the letters C before the label since we have a conjunction. So we remember the three C's, okay? When you have one C, you have to have at least three, okay? So what is being said about mom and I? What do mom and I do? Mom and I cook and clean. Cook and clean are verbs, so V and V. We have the conjunction and when we have one C, we need at least three. So this is a compound verb, compound verb, okay? Now, cook and clean when? Daily, when is an adverb question and whose mom? 
my possessive pronoun adjective. The mom belongs to me. Then we would label the ending of the sentence and use our pattern also. So remember, when you have a conjunction, that means that you have two of something. You have two subjects like mom and I. You can have two verbs like cook and clean. You could have two adjectives or two adverbs also. So now let's go ahead and get out our chapter seven, lesson one sentences. We are going to work through these together. So you're going to still get points for doing this. So make sure you're following along, but it is going to be a completion, okay? So our first sentence is, they hunted and trapped. There are no prepositions. So we're looking for who hunted and trapped. They, subject, pronoun, SP. What is being said about they? They hunted and trapped. Compound verb, compound verb. We have two verbs, so that means they're compound. The word and is a conjunction, okay? So this is a period statement declarative sentence. It follows subject, noun, verb, pattern one. We still are going to divide our sentence before the first verb. So our subject is they. The predicate is hunted and trapped. This is how to label sentence number one. We're going to add a few more words in sentence number two. This sentence says they hunted and trapped along the river trail yesterday. Do you see any prepositions? There is one along preposition. Along what? Trail, object of the preposition. There's your pop preposition, object of the preposition. The is an article adjective. And river is describing the trail. It's describing a noun, so it is an adjective. That is our only preposition. So now we will ask who hunted and trapped? They, subject pronoun. And what is being said about they? They hunted and trapped. Compound verb, compound verb, and conjunction. So we have our three C's together. When did they hunt and trap? Yesterday, adverb. So we've labeled all the words. This is a period statement declarative sentence. We still are following subject noun verb pattern one. And we will divide the subject and predicate right before the verb. So we have the subject as they. The predicate is hunted and trapped along the river trail yesterday. Let's try one more together. My older brother snores loudly and talks in his sleep. Whoa. Do you see any prepositions? There is one in. In what? Sleep, object of the preposition. Whose sleep? His, possessive pronoun adjective, PPA. That is the only preposition. So now we'll ask, who snores loudly and talks in his sleep? Brother, brother, subject, noun. 
And what is being said about brother? Brother snores and talks. Snores is a verb. Talks is a verb. So he does two things and is a conjunction. So there are our three C's. We do have a word in between. Loudly is describing how he snores. If it's a how question, it's an adverb. It's describing the verb, okay? Which brother, older, adjective, and whose brother? My, possessive pronoun adjective. Look at the punctuation at the end. This is an exclamation point, strong feeling, exclamatory sentence that follows the subject noun verb pattern one. Where will we divide our sentence? Before the first verb, so right before snores. So the subject is my older brother. The predicate is snores loudly and talks in his sleep, okay? So today we talked about conjunctions and compound words. So we are going to continue practicing that the rest of this week. We are also going to talk about different types of sentences. So I hope that you followed along with the sentences and I will see you tomorrow for some more practice.